where like students learn like how do you use a credit card? What like what's the purpose of a credit card? Or um, you know what happens when you like overdraw from a bank or something like that? Like th these are like what's a credit score? Like these are important things I think kids that are leaving high school need to know. Do you know what a FICO score is? No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, I think it has to do with taxes, I mean, like, uh, like the rate of your tax return, maybe. Alright. What about a credit score? I know, like, there's a bunch of commercials about credit scores. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the card. <laughs> Show me the card, yeah. Show me the credit karma, credit karma. Credit karma, credit, credit karma. karma, that's a huge one. I've heard of it before, I have no idea. Can you give us a guess? It has to do with something about money and probably taxes, like you get it uh, like a certain month, I believe April, you gotta give your taxes, something like that. You know what a FICO score is? No. You have any clue? I don't want to guess. It's anything to do with like a guy go and turn on Fifteen percent of car checks. <laughs> what about a credit score? I have a better idea about that. Yes, is. I know that. I couldn't explain it to you though. Okay. So after from paying for an apartment, what percent of your income do you think you should put towards the rent? I'd say... I'd say... 60%. You know what a fiscal year is? I would, I've, I think I've heard of it from my dad before, so I think it's something to do with taxes again, or if you had a good year, like the stock market or something, I have no idea, to be yeah. Um, after tests, do you think you retain the information you learned? I'd say I retain about half the, like, the information that is actually interesting is they retain, but like, I'd say yeah. about half the things would be, and about a week later, everything would be gone. Uh, how often do you think you memorize material that you don't really understand? All the time. All the time. Yeah, only for school, though, but all the time. Okay. Uh, if a teacher says some information is not going to be on the test, do you ever write it down or try and... No. Not often. Um, depends on the subject, but I'd say like 90% no. I, I think people tend to... If, if, something's not, if something's optional, people tend not to do it, uh, especially when it comes to homework and additional work. Um, Um, and once you get into college, you have to start like thinking about just like basic personal finances, like how to balance a checkbook. At least back in the day, you had to do that, um, and like what revenue and spending equals and what a deficit is, and um, you know, the the more the more engaged citizen you are, the more you have to learn of these topics because they impact you on everyday life. And if the dollar is more expensive than the euro, the euro can't, like it costs more euros to buy the dollar, so they're going to import less. So it means our exports are going to decrease. Do you, think, do you think it's more important to actually understand the information or just learn the information for the tests? Uh, I actually understand the information. I mean, that's like the actual answer. What is the, what is the your real answer? I mean, probably just for the test. There's no one <laughs> in college, but... Yeah. yeah. As a student, what do you think motivates you to learn most? Uh, college. 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 Simple as that. Um, when I'm studying? Yeah. Uh, it's probably bad to say, it, but grades, I think that's what most people, that's what their motivation is. Um, not failing. Going to college at some point. Uh,. To do the bare minimum that I can pass. Okay. Um, I don't want to do badly on the test. Why don't you want to do badly on the test? Because I want to get a good grade in the class. So I guess I want to do well so I can get to a college I wanted to go to. Is there a difference between information that might be useful later and information that just kind of here now for a test? Yeah, for for sure. You you definitely can find a better student engagement in classes where the materials are applicable outside of the classroom. Um, you definitely get a different and, and engage the students more based on the course material and how it applies outside of the school itself. I think it's really important for students to see that the, the work that they're learning 
actually mean something in the real world and this is why all of this information was developed. So even like negative numbers means that you owe somebody money and that's how they came to be. Um, so I try to do examples when we talk about logs. I do um, hearing, we talk about um, pH levels. So I try to connect it to science and where it's used in other places. So I try to do that throughout all my courses because I think it makes it more meaningful. Um, when we do comic sections, I try to do a presentation to show all of, you know, where you see problems and headlights and things like that. I think when you do that, students connect in to other interests and it makes it much more meaningful. In calculus, we just did an example on measles where you can see how infectious a person is and we can calculate that. And so I think that's really important for kids to see and I think it deepens what they're learning. But physics is kind of like a, it's known as like a real world science. Do you feel that that helps students more in their learning than in any other subject? So the nice, so yes, being able to touch, see what it is that you're learning is, is always a help for, for, for any learner. Even if you consider yourself more of an auditory learner or more of a theory-based learner, being able to see what it is you're studying has got to be a help. And so, at least up until waves, physics is a very tangible, very, very visceral. I mean, you can see it, you can touch it, um, and that's a, that's a big help. Not, they're not usually like encouraging it, but during, like I guess physics is the one where it matters the most because it's all tied together. But other than that, really haven't had any teachers try to reinforce knowledge. It depends what class, it depends what teacher. I would say the majority of the time though, uh, it's strictly to teach what has to be taught, uh, give information that has to be memorized because it's within the criteria but I don't think that it's long lasting at all. I recently took a test uh, just to, like, I think it was a history test to see how much uh, you retained from freshman year for the religion unit. I didn't remember anything, so I don't think that it was very helpful at all. I mean, like, I feel like they Me don't. And I mean, they the tell thing. you to try to learn, like, to learn, but, like, know, but the camera would know I don't know if they really, exactly. I mean, I guess, yeah, you have to, like, for some subjects, you have to know the other unit for the next one, but not all subjects. Whereas in a normal history class, I would walk in someday and be like, why are we learning about the Industrial Revolution? Which is a valid question, like, why are we learning about the Industrial Revolution? Let's say in the past month, do you think anything you've learned in school it would be, is going to be helpful uh, for your success in the future? Uh, in the future, in like applicable life scenarios? Um, no. Why? No, absolutely not. Well, we haven't been speaking about anything that I want to do in the future. Uh, I've only done math that I'm never going to probably have to do again in my entire life. Unless I'm doing geometric sequences later on, but I don't see myself doing that. Um, then I've been learning about uh, fires with food, which is really cool. Like, I'm really happy that we're doing that, but I don't think that I'm uh, going to be doing anything with history in terms of food. I'm not going to be learning about that kind of stuff. Uh, I think we're, I think the one class that might have some relevance in the future is I'm taking City 2.0 right now. So we're learning about like government and uh, just overall policies and uh, that's the most realistic thing. I don't know if it's something that I've explicitly learned from, from I guess classes. I think it's just the general skills that you just pick up on and try to improve in different classes, like, like how to, I guess, solve different problems, time management, all those different things. But would I say, you know, that I'm, uh, I'm using pre-calculus right. in my everyday life? Uh, I'd be lying if I said yes. Right. So you feel like it's more of the skill-based learning as opposed to the materialist? Yeah, I think, okay, I mean, you kind of have to be in a specialized field in order to use certain, you know, I guess like physics concepts or math concepts, but I guess the, the why, like part of why it's taught is that it, sh it, I guess, opens your mind to those, that type of thinking. Question. 
Do you think a class that's uh, based just on trying to teach kids like apl applicable life lessons, like balancing a checkbook, like dealing with taxes, do you think that'd be something beneficial towards the seniors at Scarsdale? I, I do think like something would be important to do, maybe like a seminar or talk where like students learn. Like a score, kind of just trying to prepare students. I think that's something you'd be interested in taking. Definitely. Be more engaged? Yes. Maybe have it in uh, like some of the required courses, like um, uh, like freshman seminar, or just like any of the seminars and like peer leadership. Like maybe cover it on like one or two classes, just so you have the exposure and you know what all the different things are. I mean, so I have zero idea how to file taxes or anything like that. Um, is that concerning to me? Yeah, I mean, I'm I, I am going to need to figure out how to do that, um, but it's. I, I think just the general knowledge on how to do that and just uh, just to have that, I guess, a certain comfort level is, is important. Well, do you think like the hidden message of school is like, all right, you're not really going to like, like, it doesn't matter if you learn anything about physics or you like retain anything, but like as long as you know like time management, all right, like study methods, as long as you know all right, what questions to ask, what are the right questions, where do you go for help, etc. You learn how to use your resources. Do you think like that's more important? And you think like that's what the essence of pre-college is supposed to be about? Or do you think it's also about a little bit of learning as well? I think in the age where I can just pull out my phone and just look up, you know, whatever I need to know, any knowledge-based thing that I need to know, um, I think actually retaining and memorizing certain information that isn't, you know, that you don't need to access every single day, that, that part isn't as useful. What is, what's important is to be able to interpret um, information to be able to think about it critically and like, like de decipher bias, you know, um, make conclusions with the information given to you, not necessarily just reciting information. So, understanding that a lot of the students may not remember every single thing they learned in their class, if there's one thing we'd want students to leave your class remembering or knowing, what do you think that would be? For me, it's actually not really content based, it's a feeling they have for the course. So, I very much want students to have enjoyed their experience in my class, their experience overall. So that's like an emotional element and I think that's actually the most important. Intellectually, it's not any single thing they learned, but it was um, being challenged, being forced to think the next step on their own rather than me giving it to them. Hopefully that's something that they, they walk away with. So the next time they take a class, hopefully I've helped them hold the following skill. The teacher saying something and they're trying to think through the next step on their own without waiting for the teacher or without even maybe wanting the teacher to give them that next step.